We urge the Israeli government not to finalize approvals of these plans. The international community does not recognize Israel's annexation of East Jerusalem, and the status of the city remains a final status issue for negotiations through which a way must be found for Jerusalem to emerge as the capital of two states. On 15 January 2010, an arrangement was concluded whereby the government of Israel made a payment of U.S. $10.5 million to the United Nations in respect to losses sustained in the nine incidents investigated by the Gaza Board of Inquiry. In the light of this payment, the United Nations has agreed that the financial issues relating to those incidents have been brought to a satisfactory conclusion. Israel is blatantly and arrogantly accelerating the artificially and art and to artificially create an overwhelming Jewish majority there and further entrench its de facto annexation of the city. Israel instituted an unprecedented policy of restraint throughout the settlements of the West Bank. This measure in the later, is the latest demonstration that Israel is prepared to take difficult steps for peace. We should ask the Palestinian observer why the authority that he represents refrains from accepting our outstretched hand to negotiate a historic peace. The status of Jerusalem and all other permanent status issues should be resolved through negotiations. We disagree with some Israeli actions in Jerusalem affecting Palestinians in areas such as housing, including the continuing pattern of evictions and demolitions of Palestinian homes. Neither party should take actions that could unilaterally preempt or appear to preempt negotiations. Thank you.